a 75 gallon planted CO2 injection predator tank. Uh, what we have in here is a tiger pike, which you probably won't ever see, a wolfish, along with the clasmus down below, marble goby, hiding out. You have a grass pickerel that I ordered from Florida, three hajulagars, and a Asian pike right here. Uh, CO2 system is hooked up to the small power head right here, helps distribute it throughout the water. Also, a pre filter attached to that to double it up. I have a Maxi Jet 700. Uh, absolutely ridiculous how much power this thing puts out. Um, with some fine 100 micron filter floss around it that helps polish the water for me. Um, just a standard Coral Life temperature gauge digital. Uh, seeing back there, that yellow thing is my probe that hooks up to my Milwaukee pH meter, which also hooks up to a solenoid on my CO2 tank. This allows me to keep the pH at 7.0. When it goes higher, the CO2 kicks in, feeds my plants, and lowers the pH. On top, you have twin Zoomed T5HO light fixtures um, with plant bulb in it and the, oh, the Ascentic Day bulbs. One is 48 inches and the other is 24 inches. Um, for plants it has Amazon Sword, Tiger Lilies, Wisteria, Onion Servium, a Red Amazon Sword, a Nana, Jungle Val, and Sabula Bunches. Uh, driftwood I bought and had to sink. It's still floating somewhat. It's been in here for two months, so I'm hoping this is going to kick in sometime soon and just sink. Uh, this was a saltwater tank at first, but since I don't have a sump system for it, I caulked off the holes in the bottom, dropped my strainer in here, and that still allows me to use the strainer on top to filter out the small water. And the whole system is hooked up to uh, zoom ed power center this allows me to control the day and night cycles with uh, relatively good accuracy right here I have a R2 moonlight system just to shine down in here very uh, nice for midnight accents and that is all there will be more to come